Finding that perfect composition takes time. <laughs> now wait, here. How did we do that? Yes. And you had your arms yes. crossed. Yeah. Now we had our hand hidden. How did we do that? I don't know. <laughs> they fell in love in church. 1964. How old? I was 21. And I was 24. They took a walk on a moonlit night. Full moon. We, he fin we finally stopped and he looked at me and he said, may I kiss you? And I said, yes. Hal knew his calling. And after that walk, he was heading to Africa as a missionary doctor. And then I realized he was going as a, as a doctor to a different country. I didn't feel that that was anything for me. And so I knew I had to, we had to break it off. So that was it. Hal married Ruth Ann a year later and went to Africa. And yeah. We were all mutual we friends, all mutual right. friends. Performing surgeries during the week, leading worship services on the weekends. Hal and Ruth Ann had four kids, 10 grandkids, nine great grandkids. Mary Ellen married. never married. I just knew that I, I probably would never get married, and especially after I had uh, was diagnosed with multiple myeloma. <laughs> now in remission, she needed a shoulder surgery and posted on Facebook. A doctor friend reached out. His wife of 56 years had died a year earlier. And within two weeks, I ordered her engagement ring. Hadn't seen her in 58 years. I just knew it was right. I never would have dreamed. I never, ever would have dreamed that I would be getting married and uh, let alone finding my first love, the man who gave me my first kiss. I mean, how does this happen? <laughs> but I am just totally gaga about this girl. On December 17th, 58 years after their first kiss, the 82-year-old widower and the 79-year-old who refused to settle made it official. Prince Charming, you may kiss your princess. <laughs> True love waits. I think in every woman's heart, there is a longing for that love that makes you feel complete. And you found that? I found that in how. And so the perfect composition takes time.